All right, in this video, we're gonna go over just a quick little use of loops that uh, is, is not quite uh, the typical usage of loops, but it is pretty, uh, pretty powerful and uh, could be potentially useful, so it's a good thing to have in your toolbox. Uh, so we all know how uh, for loops work, right? We've worked with them before, so if we were to take a list, let's say that we initiated with uh, the numbers one through five in there, and we were to say for x in list print, x we can see what's going to happen here we should all know right it's going to print each item in the list because for x in list we're going to go through each item in the list and print it out individually so that's how we end up with one two three four and five separately right so the key is here we could also do this with a string variable instead of just a list and this is something that you know you, you may not think to do because using a for loop with a list is going to pretty much be more uh, common than uh, using a for loop with a string but there are some interesting applications here. So we could say uh, word equals giraffe, and now we have a word. So we can modify this for loop now to work with this word, right? So if we say for x in word now, print x, uh, maybe pause the video and think about what you think might happen when we run this code. But if we do uh, end up running this, we could say, we can see what's gonna happen here, right? It prints out each letter in the string individually, right? So we had word is giraffe. So for X in word, that means for each character in word, print out that character, right? So we print out G I R A F F E in order uh, because it goes through a string, just like a for loop would go through a list, uh, except we're using a string instead of a list. All right, so uh, this does have some useful applications that you will hopefully see soon. Uh, thanks for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one.